Hi, I'm Robert Mintz, Deputy Director at the Asian Art Museum, and I want to welcome you to this holiday tale. You know, storytelling is really the lifeblood of the museum. And this year, I want to share with you a tale that comes to my mind every year around this time as we look forward to the Lunar New Year. We call this a special drink to protect us all. The special drink is called otoso in Japanese. It's a spiced sweet sake flavored with medicinal herbs whose origins lie in Chinese legend and texts dating back to the period immediately following the Han Dynasty. The, the story goes a little something like this. About 2000 years ago, an epidemic struck in a region within the borders of the Eastern Han Dynasty. The loss of life was so great that there were descriptions of the disease inflicting every family with the burden of a corpse and filling every room with the sound of mourning cries. In the face of this tragedy, a heroic doctor emerged. Just before the Lunar New Year, this hero told his neighbors to place a specially prepared medicine bag in their well. Then early in the morning on the first day of the new calendar, they were to take water from the well and mix it with wine. The whole family was then told to face the east and to drink in turn for three days. In this way, he explained, they would be protected from the disease. These instructions and the contents of that medicinal bag were written down during the third century and the elixir became known as Tusu wine. Among the ingredients were rhubarb, Sichuan pepper, shaved cinnamon bark, bullbriar and wolfsbane. These medicinal plants have the effect of invigorating the body and stimulating circulation, and they generate a kind of internal warmth. It became widely known that a drink of Tusu wine on New Year's Day would prevent infection. Over the centuries, Tusu wine became a common ritual drink at the New Year's or the Spring Festival. From the Tang Dynasty all the way up to the 20th century, people continued the tradition of drinking Tusu wine as they celebrated the new year with their families. The convention became to have the youngest family member drink first, followed by their elders. And writers commented on the great joy one would experience in celebrating the new year with children. A drink of Tusu wine at the new year's became a symbol of family unity. The convention of having the drink passed from the youngest of the family to the oldest strengthened the association of this drink with health. In conjunction with Tusu wine's anti-disease effect, it became a symbol of wishing for longevity. When the younger generation presented Tusu wine to the elderly, they were showing their hope that the elders would live long and fruitful lives. The name of the drink Tusu originally referred to a kind of herb, the bullbriar. In some parts of South China, there was a custom of painting these herbs on houses and thus Tusu came to be the name for a hut or house. People recounted that long ago there was a person living in a thatched hut who left special medicine each year on the new year for his neighbors. Of course, years later, people knew that the prescription was one they should drink, but they'd forgotten the name of this person. So they named the prescription after the place where he lived, after the hut. It was Tusu. The forgotten person, of course, lived in seclusion in this hut, and he was the heroic doctor who saved people from the plague. Coming and going mysteriously without leaving a trace, his legend ultimately was crystallized into this yearly dose of medicinal liquor. By the Qing dynasty, Tusu wine had further evolved with new cultural meanings. On the first day of the year, the emperor would drink Tusu wine and write auspicious words for the new year, such as time of harmony and abundance or year of bountiful harvests. Drinking Tusu wine in this ritual was powerful symbolism and the emperor was drinking the wine on behalf of the country in hopes that the people would all be safe from disease. Whether consumed during a ceremony or banquet, Tusu wine was full of formality 
and symbolic meaning. Apart from protecting individual lives and representing family reunion, Tusu's role extended to the national level and became an important element of national rituals and an important symbol of national peace and security. It encompasses each individual's and each family's sorrows and joys, as well as a wish for longevity. Well, during the ninth century, the Saga Emperor of Japan welcomed the tradition of making and drinking tusu, as it's known, or otoso, as it's known in Japan, uh, into the country. In Japan, the custom was to tie this medicinal bag and hang it from the branch of a peach tree during the second week of the last month of the year. Then, on the eve of the new year, the bag was taken down and it was placed into a vat of sweet sake to steep. On waking up in the, new, on waking up in the morning of the new year, the first drink was a sip of otoso, this medicinal wine. In Japan, the custom was uh, also modified to accommodate Japanese botanical components. So we see slightly different ingredients incorporated into otoso the herbal ingredients include sprigs of cinnamon, but also rhubarb, sancho, or Japanese pepper, and two less common medicinal ingredients, one called okera, a root, and also kikyo, a uh, part of a medicinal plant, the radix. Um, the resulting drink is sweet and complex and has a warming, spicy aroma. Today, Japanese people celebrate the new year uh, with a feast of Oseji or New Year's foods and Otoso on January 1st. But prior to 1872, the new year started on the second new moon after the winter solstice or the lunar new year. On this day, the youngest member of the household would take the first sip of Otoso and pass the cup to the next older child. Then the parents and finally the oldest members of the household would get a drink. This ensures longevity, vitality, health, and good fortune for the year ahead. The name Otoso also developed new meanings in Japan. It refers to quelling demons or protecting you from those things that would threaten your life. So Otoso in Japan was more than just the Chinese Tusu line, but was also a protective elixir with meanings that reach into Japanese beliefs and Japanese superstition. Thousands of years after being created to ward off disease, the convention of drinking otoso or tusu wine has greatly changed both in China and Japan, particularly with some of the more toxic early ingredients having been replaced with ingredients that are more familiar to us today. However, tusu wine as a medicinal liquor still serves an important purpose similar to today's vaccines. A drink of this wine protects people throughout the year, just as a vaccine protects us from the viruses that surround us every day. This drink is a drink that wishes health to the individual, to the family, to the community, and to the nation, and is a celebration of everything new that comes with the New Year's festival. So join me, if you will, for a small sip of otoso and please offer a sip to your elders in hopes that they will live long and fruitful lives and will stay safe throughout the coming year. Thanks for listening to this short story and thank you for your support of the Asian Art Museum. If you would please join us in the galleries when the museum reopens next month and there you will see many of the works of art that I've shown you today. And please, have Otoso a try at your next celebration of the new year.